Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode of Friday Night Explore, we're gonna explore Mogogari, but Death Touch. Uh, actually, not Death Touch, Toxic, but with Fing the Fang Bearer synergizing with every Death Touch. And so I, initially I wanted to play a Simic Death Touch deck, but I really couldn't get the proper synergy in uh, Explorer, or I couldn't figure out the proper synergy in Explorer, and I just feel like uh, the, everything that the Simic Toxic deck could work in with the Venerator Rock Priest and then the uh, Ivy Spell, Spell Slinger, Spellcaster, it already works in Standard. And I don't think Standard is fast enough for Explorer deck. So uh, we're going to play Explorer in a little bit of a different way. And we're just going to try Golgari because we've been doing a lot of Golgari this week. And uh, the idea of this deck is, well, we're going to talk to our opponent with cards like Belarus Skull, Skull Welder, cards like Venerated Rock Priest, and then we're going to put Poison Counter our opponent with Fing the Fang Bear. Whenever a Death Touch creature deals combat damage to the player, that player gets two Toxic. Whoa, two! So, or two poison counters. So we, can, we might be able to get to 10 pretty quickly with this. And so let's look at the deck, shall we? We have four Billerous Skull Wielder, uh, Toxic Death Touch. So we get both of those uh, in effect. Uh, we have four Fatal Push to remove our opponent's blockers. We have three Undying Malice so that creatures can come back. And we can trigger that on even the Venerated Rock Free so that opponent gets more Toxic or more Poison. And we have three Tyvar Stand to protect our creatures when necessary and also give it pumps. Uh, one go for the throw, just uh, for removal if we need it, since we already have four Fatal, fatal Push. Uh, we have one Tainted Adversary to get that Death Touch, and fill our mana in his uh, Show We Be Flooded. And then we have four Fing the Fan Bear, because that's kind of the theme of the deck, even though we're not Commander here. Uh, we have uh, three uh, Infectious Bites to have target creature deal combat damage, or deal damage to, uh, equal to its power to target creature. But target, uh, target creature deals that damage, so that Death Touch will kill the creature. And everyone gets a poison. Uh, so we start poison anyways. Blow the Contaminator, Toxic, Trample, also proliferate. Glissa, uh, First Strike, and most importantly, Death Touch. Uh, so four Blow the Contaminator and three Glissa, uh, the uh, Sun Slayer. And then we have two Questing Beasts in case our opponent some sort of a uh, Planeswalker deck or they are trying to prevent damage. Well, they can't. Questing Beasts, uh, uh, notorious for God, uh, having a book in its... So many things. Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste can't be blocked by power, two or less. Combat damage can't be prevented. And whenever it deals damage to an opponent, it also deals damage damage to a Planeswalker that opponent controls. All of that. All in one card. Four mana, four, four. Insane the power creep magic has. And then we have another four mana, uh, two Crescent Beasts, and two ne Necrogen Rock Priest. Another type of Rock Priest. This Rock Priest is toxic too. And then you can also give creature the Death Touch if that creature already has toxic. Well, uh, or... Uh, yeah, the tar target creature you control with Toxic gains Death Touch. That it, It's a mouthful. Well, basically, we're ca we can give the Bloated Contaminator uh, Death Touch if we like, and then synergize with Fing the Fang Bear. Not that important, but it is a 1-5, you know, a 1-5. Uh, and also, it, uh, it, whenever a creature with Toxic deal combat damage, that creature, or that, uh, you know, uh, receiving end gets an extra poison counter. We get a lot of poison counter just kind of piled on, and hopefully we can get to 10. A lot of times when I play poison decks, it's just, we get to 9. We, it's very hard to get to the 10 somehow, and I don't know why, but we always rush to 9 very easily. But getting to 10 seems to be an insurmountable challenge. I want to see if this deck makes a difference. And the land base. So, uh, if you look at this deck, we only have 22 lands, right? We don't have that many lands because it's pretty short end. And uh, the only card that we have on the high end is the 4 drop. And we have 4 4 drops and 7 3 drops. It's not really that many. So, we have 2 swamps, 1 Takanuma, 2 forests, 1 Boseju. Again, this is because I don't have all of the good lands and explore. Uh, and we have uh, one Blooming Marsh, because I only have one. Uh, we have two Dark Boar Pathway, because I only have two. We do have four Death Cap Glades and four Land War Wastes. And I slotted in one Necro Blossom Snarl. Uh, I don't really recommend a Snarl. Basically, it's a tap land. But I'm putting that in because, uh, well, I, those are the best lands I got. Uh, if you have the uh, Overgrown Tomb, that would be the best one. And But I don't have it. So then we have four Mirics. We get more toxic, obviously, and uh, most of the deck plays on our turn, so the color effect for Mirix probably will work, right? The instants are just the removals, and we have enough of other mana to get the instant removal, so I think it will work. We'll find out. Let's go to uh, explore our toxicity. And we 
where, where's our toxic? There's our toxic deck. Let's get toxic on. I, I'm excited now, but I'm probably going to get overrun by actual combos in Explore. Explore is so fast. Everyone's playing turn 1, turn 2, turn 3, and win. Right? Uh, Abs and um, uh, Grease Fang beat me on turn 3 almost every time. And then uh, the Counterspell decks basically counter everything I have. And then the Mono Green Devotions uh, stomps me. Now we're playing against... I don't know how to pronounce that. Something Raphael. We get to go first. We got enough Toxic to go first on, so... Let's tox it on. Did that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Alright, they are Karuga. Fable Passage turn 1. Good for us. I mean, he's not going to be able to do anything. And now I regret not playing the Waste turn 1, but that's fine. I might need 2 green now, which I don't have. He's not going to have anything turn uh, turn 2 other than maybe a channel ability, right? He can't have anything with mana cost uh, 2. So that means we're going to go for the attack. And we shall contaminate him. We think it to go first, so that's pretty nice. But even then, I'm not really quite sure where this is going. He's going to have... His third land now. And cards are start starting to come out. Zargon's Trium. And he has... Four in the domain. If he's a domain deck, which I don't think there are domain decks in Explorer. Right. There's Ganjo. Fable. That's interesting. Well, uh, this really won't do much. Right? And he can block, but I don't know if he would. He does block. Submit. Uh, let's get another Contaminator on. Good luck. Draw to discard two. Wow, there's a Titan. That's scary. Can he reanimate a Titan this turn? Because this is one, two, three, four, five. There's five Toxic. Just in an attack next turn. So he's got to get something that's a blocker out. And he's also at 12. So we can just overrun him with a questing piece too. Well, opponent. Raphael, can you dance to this music too? Tap land. Do you want to take the 2 life? You might need to take the 2 life. Just saying. Enters the battlefield, draw a card for each permanent. So is this Fire's deck? Is this the Fire's Victory deck? Um, I'm pretty sure he wants to destroy one of these, right? Leyline Binding. value two or less so I can't actually take out the fable unless the creature I have leaves the battlefield he is a nine um hmm. well we'll see we'll see what happens like I said we get to nine very easily and it's always the tenth I mean, a fatal push draw was not very good uh, if we got a raw priest there that would have been game but hey you know what can't have it all 
really can't have anything really uh, when you're when you're playing against karuga uh fires deck i think we are gonna be able to survive i think again i don't know if he can play fires and then he can play like a titan and just blow out that way sacred foundry again tapped Heliod. He can't even return anything, right? So, if I get a removal, destroy target creature if its mana value is 2 or less. Oh, this is going to come into play tap, so it doesn't do anything. If I attack... He has a double block, and then I'll lose my board. Oh boy. Can't even proliferate if he blocks here, so... Is there any way for me to remove one of my cards? There isn't. Questing Beast cannot be blocked by creatures with power 4 or less. Would that help anyways? I don't know if it will help in any way whatsoever. I just need one Venerated Rock Priest. Just one. And I win. Ah, uh, painful. It's, it's gotta be painful to watch, too. This is just... Why, deck? Why? Why? Come on! Just one Toxic! That's all I need! Opponent doesn't even have a pet! They just... Copy the deck online? Pasted it into Arena, and then decided, hey, let's go with this deck. I am Raphael, and I can dance this music, too. But it does not pan out for me with the 4-4. All right, well, what are they going to do? Kill it? I got a Malice. Back to the hand, I guess. Back out. You auto Wara. <laughs> Can't do anything with it. Another fable. Uh, I don't have trample, so that might be what he's hoping for. Does he have a kill spell? Oh, he has a quit spell. That works for me. He can't block it anyways because it's two, right? Cannot be blocked with a uh, creature with power two or less. So, oh. We got through. We got through with damage. This dumb death touch deck got through with damage. All right, well, let's uh, six four some more. Uh, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. It's just... Entire toxic deck gets through with damage at the embarrassment of someone with like 17 lands out and still couldn't do anything. Heal D1. One goes for. Oh, we don't, we don't even have anything. Whoa. Uh, this is how you lose a game. Alright, uh, we got a snarl into a glade. Uh, what, do we, what do we even keep here? Probably not the Tyvar stand. These could both be untapped, right? Hope I draw something that's not done. Oh, it's aggro. That's... What can they do? Turn two. 
should I push now? Okay, so the question is, should I push the initiate right now? And if I push the initiate right now, I actually have no plays turn two, right? Whereas then I could play a venerated rock priest. Then I have nothing to play next turn either. Either way is not good. I play a frost. Uh, hmm. So I play Thalia next turn and I just die. Right, if I play this, so now I'll kind of have to eat a Thalia. Uh, okay, you know what? I will play this and I will play... The Raw Priest. There's the Dahlia. We know that's coming. This is green. This is green! Oh my god. Everything is black and I get a green mana. Alright, that's fan freaking fantastic here. Let's not do anything. I suppose we can Infectious Bite the uh, Thalia next turn. Let's see how Brutal Cathar, Adeline. Don't block this. There is an Adeline now. So, want to fatal push the. Let's put the uh, Skull Welder out. Let's see if this Adeline wants to attack into a Death Touch. Right? And we want to Fatal Push the Thalia, but we don't have to do it right now. We also have Undying Malice if we need it. Alright, well that resolves. A lot of damage, yes. Pass to first strike damage, yep. Yeah. We'll, we'll be back. Now with two twos. All right, let's uh, let's let's push this guy here, and then uh, we can start attacking. I don't know why I pushed it first. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm at eleven. Opponent's at three toxic. He's got two cards left though, so I maybe something. Thalia. Well, our creature I control. Our creature. I don't control. Get one. It dies. Haha! <laughs> now what? Ah, <laughs> that's what. Well, can't be mad at opponent for doing opponent things. Not gonna attack here. You can attack with your Thalia. If you do, I'm gonna clap back and deal way more damage. Two Mirix. Two Mirix. Probably not gonna attack me, honestly. He does attack me. Yeah, right? I have Death Touch. My death is touching even more. Oh, there's Lieutenant. All right, he's going to pump his board. Pretty scary.
I have no artifact and enchantment he can blow up other than maybe a might. I don't think he wants to do that. My grow, my grow, my boar grows ever stronger. Right, what am I doing here? Attacking with the 2 2? How would he block? Um, how would he block? I am at a pretty low life here, right? Can he deal 11 damage to me? If he plays a human. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll attack with a 2 2 death touch so that. Uh, actually, no. If we attack with the 1 1 death touch, if Thalia blocks it, can we just give it hexproof and indestructible this turn? That will kill with Thalia, right? And then he'll have nothing. He takes the 1. Is there a big spell? Brutal Cathar. What are you gonna target? Be very careful what you target. It's the last thing you're gonna target here. It's already game anyways. I guess he can block? I don't know. Got a big, pretty big board here. Well, K3, X proof indestructible. You go to 7. Now it's a 5 5. Talking Numa. Can't return anything with Talking Numa. So if I attack here, he blocks 4, he gets 1. Right? And if he blocks four, uh, what kind of favorable trade can we even get? We cannot get any favorable trades. All right, Thalia blocks it. Uh, free trade for him. I didn't think it was going to block. Of course, we top deck land, so it's basically a dead draw. Copper Coat. Eh, that's GG for us. Still not playing anything. Which I mean, he could do that if he wants. Ooh, that's a good card. We also have first strike. But we have first strike and death touch. He can remove those to blow up one of these. Guess that's what he's hoping for. Ah, if only I can have a march in this deck. <laughs> okay, top deck land for our opponent, which is good for us. At least for a little bit. I don't know if he's going to attack us anytime soon. Our first strike death touch means that we can do something with it. But it'll probably just die from an attack. Right, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five. Five creatures. We have exactly... Oh, wait, no, we have six. We can get one in. 
don't know if getting one in is worth it. One, two, three, five. So I guess we'll attack with the Galissa. He's gonna not block. Well, he's gonna block it. No, he's not gonna block. So we will destroy an enchantment that doesn't do anything. We need Galissa to block. And he's... Uh, if he plays a spell here, it's probably wrong. Okay, not, not if it's Adeline, right? But if almost anything else, it's probably wrong. Because what he wants to do is double spell to flip the Moonrager boot. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six creatures. Uh, we have seven toxic. We have eight toxic. So we'll be able to get two in. Unless he attacks. He's attacking with two things. That is wrong. 100% wrong. So if there's only four creatures, we have seven. So that means that we'll get three in. And that will be lethal. Why is he attacking? Yeah, right? You cannot attack. You can all out attack, I guess. We can not attack at all. We got a bloated contaminator. It's not the best. So we have eight, right? He has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that he's gonna kill six of my creatures, and I will be down to just two one one might. And he'll have the whole board. Right, let's yeah, let's not do that. That seems to be I had a disadvantage trade for us. So we're gonna get a blow the contaminator out. He can use the Hopeful Initia to blow up a Might, but that makes the Hopeful Initia weaker. Or that makes the Thali Lieutenant weaker, which is fine with us. We have a bigger board anyways. This is not Vigilance, unfortunately, so we'll just let it go. We're both hoping to top deck a card that can win us the game. And our I didn't do it. Let's see if our opponent did. That one attack that I had with the Bill was Skull Welder. Yeah, that was a bluff that did not work out. So it looks really bad now that I think about it. But I probably will do it again in another game. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, getting protection from the color. Green or black? Black. Instead of green. This is not white. Can I actually live? Alright, so this is gonna block the biggest one. He's gonna have the second biggest one. This is gonna block... Uh, I need to block the third biggest, so... I can't block this, can't block this, can't block this, can't block this. I can block that. Can I block anything else? Nope. Alright, so what am I taking here? 2 plus 4 plus 4. That's 10, right? Can't. Nope. Can I block anything else? Nope. I don't want to block that either. Cannot block those. I'm at one! There's a big board of things here. I think you you blow your load a little too soon here. And how would you face up to this? Oh, that would have helped like five turns ago, so... Here's a big board of attack. You want to blow one of them up? Or you can blow yourself up. Ah, GG. Oh, I think I already said it. Alright, so... Toxic? Pretty good. 
stomped out a human deck. Top tier metagame, no match against my jank. Alright, that was that was fun explore. We we explore a lot of fun and you know, beating our opponent with Basically toxic. I said I wasn't gonna get to nine or get to nine and not be able to get to ten. First game, couldn't get to ten, killed them with damage. Second game, couldn't get to ten, killed them with like 17 toxic in a row. Alright, so well, you know, that's kind of how I feel about toxic. You either not get there, or you really, really get there. But when you do get there, it is a good feeling. So I do recommend this deck because it's very cheap. Cards are so cheap in this deck. Like all you need is Venerated Raw Priest as the rare, maybe the Murex. Right, all these lands, just play basic. It's fine. You saw how none of the lands really played that big of a role in uh, any of the games. Uh, the Fang the Fang Bearer is uh, uncommon now. So I think it might have always been uncommon. I don't remember. But it's definitely uncommon now. So very easy to craft. Uh, Tainted Adversary, don't need it. Don't need to have it in the deck. Put in another uh, Death Touch if you like. Never even shown up. Uh, Galissa's pretty good, but really it just help us kind of survive a little bit. If you don't have Galissa, you can live without it. You do need a Bloated Contaminator. That is a very big, toxic damage dealer. Uh, Nec Necrogen Raw Priest didn't come out, but I do think you need it, and uh, it is pretty good. So, gives you more toxic, right? Also give your uh, uh, Bloated Contaminator, uh, turns it into not just toxic, but also Death Touch, which triggers Finn, which gives him too toxic. And then Questing Beast, it did win us the game, but I would say that if you don't have it, it's fine. Just have four Necrogen Raw Priest. It would do pretty much the same thing because that game where we couldn't get to 10, if we had uh, Necrogen instead of Raw Priest, or instead of uh, Questing Beast, we would have got to 10. So, yeah, that, there you go. That is this uh, Death Touch Toxic deck in Explorer. I would say that it has uh, potential, but of course it's an aggro deck, so it's only going to play one way. Get your opponent to 10, or you die. And uh, if that's the style you like to play, this deck does serve that purpose. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next Friday for another Friday Night Explorer.